It's on her. When? It's on her now. It just went on. We live right now. Welcome to Bank Boy Talk. I am your host, Mr. Drysdale. Tonight, we will be discussing... Well, tonight, I didn't really come up with a topic tonight. I tried to come up with a topic tonight. It's a thousand topics, and Bank Boy KMR is suppo supposed to have been um, assisting me with this tonight, but he's in the studio working on some beats. Um, so... I'm going to do this segment on my own tonight. I'm trying to, a topic, I want to talk about, the first topic we're going to talk about tonight is going to be loyalty. To you people out there, what is loyalty to you? What does what does loyalty mean to you? You know, because everybody, like, I always break down, like I always say, I'm not a, you know, like us being black folks, everybody know, quote, you know, we say, niggas be hollering, about, I'm a real nigga, I'm a real nigga. No, I ain't no real nigga. I, don't, I can't be a real nigga because... You know what I'm saying? Definition of a real nigga is something that's beyond my thought process when it's coming to other people's definition of being a real nigga. You know what I mean? My definition, another nigga definition of a real nigga ain't real. My definition of a real nigga ain't we cool, you my main man, you my homie, and you know what I'm saying? I go to jail, I do a beer, we come up together and you fucking my girl, you trying to tell me something about well, she cut into me. Nigga, that ain't no real nigga to me. So, see, another nigga definition might be, well, the bitch cut into me. So, you know, what I'm supposed to do as a man. Nigga, that, that was your man, nigga. As a man, if that's your man, nigga, you you know you. Bitch, slide on, dog. You know, you dog here, bitch. Get the fuck on. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you tell her to get on. Slide on, bitch. You know what it is. Get your dog ass on. You ain't shit. You know what I'm talking about? So, that's, that's, that's one definition. That's why I said I can't be, I can't be. A uh, 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 real nigga So I always say and, I, and you know The people around me I always tell them I'm authentic You know what I'm saying They don't make my time My kind no more Some of y'all won't even You know what I'm saying Process in the time That I come up here You know what I'm saying I'm authentic nigga Back in the day nigga So tonight we gonna talk about uh, Loyalty what, what is What is The first topic We gonna talk about two topics The first one gonna be loyalty What is loyalty to some of y'all out there, you know, we waiting for y'all to come in and come on in, come on in the live. Tell me what's your definition of loyalty is. What is loyalty? You know, because my my definition of loyalty is, you know, is 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 a hundred percent being down with a motherfucker, uh, being there whether a motherfucker rich or poor. You know, most motherfuckers they. They run off their nigga with a bag. You know what I'm saying? They they they, they always they always running off the niggas with bags and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, and uh any motherfucker they got a bag, that's that's where they loyalty at. Like I know some niggas, I come up with some niggas, I know some niggas, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas just they they dig up to, to the point to where it's pathetic. It could be a nigga that was trying to kill you one time, and you come up one time once upon a time, you come up. With this nigga, but the nigga trying to kill you, get this nigga back. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, he'll fuck with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, that like that type of shit, that type of shit ain't loyal to me. Don't get it wrong. You don't expect nothing from a nigga, but I'm saying if this, you gotta understand this, it's the difference between associating associating with a motherfucker and a motherfucker being your man. If a motherfucker your man, that's your man, nigga. Ain't, hey, it is what it is, nigga. Right, wrong, up, down. Backwards, you know, that's what it is. But you associate with a motherfucker, you know, nigga. I see the nigga from time to time. I pop at the nigga. I pop at the nigga here and there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, that's that's just what it is. So my thing is, like I said, that definition of loyalty to me, you know what I'm saying? Well, excuse me, the definition of being a real nigga is is not is not what I use in my vocabulary. I don't even like niggas around me. Nigga, you come around me talking about you a real nigga, I'm looking at you funny. Well you're authentic over here. You know what P. I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, we we authentic. As P. Rodney just said, we authentic over here. I don't, I don't know nothing about no real niggas. You know what I'm saying? Real niggas. Nigga, what's your definition of a real nigga, nigga? Your definition ain't gonna be my nigga. Cause my definition of being an authentic nigga is ten toes down, all the way around the board. Somebody said, "Be patient and stick with that person through the storm. Build with each other." Ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. You know, and and I agree with you. You know, <laughs> I don't know if you. Uh, it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. Moody Nana. You right. You know what I'm saying. You know, we shouts out to her. You know what I'm saying. Because the thing is to it. You know what I'm saying. Being authentic is hard to be. I, and and where I'm coming from, I'm coming. I'm coming from loyalty as the word loyalty and authentic and all type of prospects. 
and forms. I'm talking about relationships. I'm talking about street niggas. I'm talking about uh, friendships, brotherly love, sisterly love. I'm talking about from all aspects about being loyal to an individual that's a hundred with you. So everybody, everybody can't, everybody can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, me growing up, I seen a lot of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I seen, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna go back to what I was saying earlier. For those of you that's, you know, just came on and didn't hear me. You know what I'm saying? Dig sucking. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that? You know, no disrespect. But I mean, dig sucking as far as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I got to stop that. People, people, people have material things. And because they got material things, because they have material things or they're able to compensate you at a, a specific, a certain amount of time, they are right. It motherfucker can have all the paper in the world or most of the paper in the world or a lot of things. Don't make them an authentic nigga. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know motherfuckers that's through the city. You know what I'm saying? I know motherfuckers through the city. You know, and people that's through the city, you see every day, niggas, they have money. They hoes. They, they for real hoes. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas around, them niggas starving for whatever reason. And nigga, if you feel like a motherfucker ain't going to do right by you or by your bag, you just keeping the motherfucker around you and you shining and these motherfuckers, they around you, they hurt. If, if you feel like they ain't going to never do right, stop fucking with them then. You know what I'm saying? You cut them off. Why you got motherfuckers hanging around you that you steady, you know, you trying to shine and you trying to be the big man, you know, and you trying to, and you trying to be out talking about you doing this and that when you got three, four other niggas that's around here getting peanuts. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, they may be getting peanuts because, and, and, and little scraps because they choose, that's what, how they choose to move. You know what I'm saying? And that's fine. But if they choose to move like that, that's fine. But if they don't choose to move like that and you in a position to, Take them to another level of teaching them something or showing them something to make their next move their best move. Why wouldn't you? But you got a lot of you got a lot of people around. Like I said, they dig up just to, just because of what a person got, and that's not a that's not a true friend. Because when all of that shit gone, when all of that shit gone, you know what I'm saying? It, it's gone. So when it's gone, the friends gone. How many of y'all mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters? Friends, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Once upon a time, in y'all life, y'all seen them up here. Y'all seen everybody in the world around. All the family members, all the cousins, aunties, calling your daddy, uncle, and big bro, and, and cuz. But soon as pop shot out to the penitentiary, and y'all was up out here, who came around? You might, you, might, you might got one or two. It's one or two authentic motherfuckers, but it was, out of the one or two, it was 98 other motherfuckers that... You know what I'm saying? And the least motherfucker that you expect to come around was the motherfucker that came around. You know? It wasn't even the ones that was in the bins or the Cadillac with your daddy every day that came around. You know what I'm saying? It was it was the nigga that was around the corner. You used to just walk by and holler at him. He was the one knocked on the door. How you, how your old man doing in the joint? Tell him I said what's up. I ain't got much, but you know, he go he go twenty, thirty dollars for him. You know, some people like they laughing 20, 30, but you know, an average motherfucker went into nothing. They got a nine to five and trying to make it. That's basically what they got is shit. The motherfucker got 20, 30 dollars. You know what I'm saying? You ain't in no bullshit in the street. You just doing a nine to five. That's that's a lot of money sent into a motherfucking penitentiary. But as I was saying, that's the motherfucker that's going to um, come up at you. The motherfucker that you least expect. That that motherfucker that, that everybody was looking at, oh, he ain't getting no money or yeah, that nigga ain't. He ain't got no car, no jewelry, and nigga be like, man, why you fuck? Oh, that's my man. I fuck with him. He stand around the corner. He cool, man. He always be looking out and coming to holler at me, you know? You know, so, like I said, just let me know what y'all definition of of, of loyalty is. Uh, what, what is y'all definition? Because mine, of when people say it's being a real nigga, this now, I don't, I don't use the term. You'll never hear me use the term. You hear me saying I'm authentic. You know, like I said, your definition and my definition uh, that thing that y'all say a real nigga, two definitions. And if anybody ever tell me, I'm looking at them crazy. Nigga, what you mean you a real nigga? What, well, what is your definition of a real nigga, nigga? You know, so y'all tap in let me know something. Has we got anybody on there? Yeah, there's people on here. That's what it is then. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know. You know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I can't see y'all. I'm sitting back. Like I said, I usually have a co-host. My co-host, he didn't come on tonight. So, you know what I'm saying? I do this thing. I, it's just something really, you know, to be honest with y'all. I'm trying out. I got a lot of topics. You know, we come with the Bank Boy music, B-O-A-B, Bank of America Boys, 
BQB, Bang Boy, P Rider, Strix De Niro, Cam Out of Focus, Rugati. So we come with that. You know, don't nobody really want to be involved in nothing until you get it going on. Yeah, and you know, for those of y'all that know me out there, y'all know I've been running these motherfucking streets, beating them down for many a years. You know, since a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? All the way from Seven Mile and Conan, 3509 Stockton, my baby, 1137 Cornelius, Saginaw, Michigan. I've been running this, these motherfuckers a long motherfucking time, you dig? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, that thing about loyalty is something, you know, it it, it became some. It's some where well, it ain't it ain't become it's something that's real big with me. That's why the Bang Boy circle is small because you know you know it's so much hate and this little shit going on in the world today. Who can you trust? You can't you can't trust now. You can't trust no motherfucker, man. You know you got a nigga that has set you up with another nigga because he done fucked up his bag. A bitch has set you up for a nigga. Because she liked the way he fucking another stupid dumbass. <laughs> this and everything. This dumb motherfucker tell her. Gonna get her and her mama and her people killed. You know? When this dumbass gonna jet on the bitch. Y'all done set the nigga up. He gonna jet on you, bitch. He gonna get you, your mama, and your kids killed. You done set a nigga up. You just a dumbass motherfucker. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all people out there, y'all gotta be real careful. Real, very careful. When you say, this my dog. This my home girl. <laughs> This is my homeboy. This is my man. You know what I'm saying? You got it. You know, it's, it's, it's somebody out there probably watching this shit. Nigga, we all know that. I know this and know that. And know this and know that. But you the same dumb motherfucker. That's all <laughs> fucked up right now. You know what I'm saying? You the same, you the same dumb motherfucker that's fucked up right now. You know what I'm saying? Because most people don't want to listen. You know what I'm saying? You know? Like I said, I, I do the, I'm going to start doing these broadcasts. We probably going to come on. Monday through Friday, probably about, for real, for real, I'm going to try to set it up about 11 o'clock, because I appreciate y'all, I like fucking with y'all, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, I ain't trying to get no, no, you know, I'm, I'm promoting what's happening with BOAB, like I said, Bank of America boys, but other than that, I'm just, I'm going to be kicking the real shit, you know, just like everybody else here, they kicking some real shit, and, and you know, you entitled to your opinion, you can come on in, bring your opinion in, and all that shit, I'm, I'm cool with that, I'm good with that. You know what I mean? But I, I just want to discuss you have to check. what what is the what 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 is your definition of loyalty? What is loyalty to you to you people? Out man, there? it's th it's thirteen of y'all in here, man. What is loyalty to y'all? You know what Speak I'm saying? Up. You know what I'm saying? What is loyalty? <laughs> I mean, if it's thirteen of y'all in there, don't tell me all you niggas and all you women in there is disloyal motherfuckers, because I know y'all can come up with a definition of what is loyalty to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because your sister, your sister don't mean the bitch gonna show you loyalty. Cause your brother, your brother don't mean he gonna show you loyalty. Your 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 mama, your mama don't mean she gonna show you loyalty. You know what I'm saying? You you what is your definition of law? What, what is a law motherfucker to you? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about no stupid dumb motherfucker. <laughs> I'm saying a loyal motherfucker. You know, cause some shit just ain't loyal. Some you know you don't you don't put yourself in fucked up situations, and 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 and. And expect a motherfucker to be loyal to you because you you done put yourself in a situation that's going to fuck them up. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you got to know the character of each individual. I quote unquote, I say that word again, the character of a motherfucker that you fucking with. Man, somebody says that beard real. Yeah, ain't, ain't no old head from the rut, no fake beard, man. man. A nigga or, or, or a female? It's a female said that. What else is going to be, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Bang boy, baby. Hey, look. Hey, shit, is it real? What you, what you, this motherfucker, what you want to be? This motherfucker ain't doing no motherfucker. Shit, is it real? She know why he look young, my bad. No, she. No, no, we good, my baby. We good, no, you know. No, no, we we good. I just take care of myself. I said, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm from Cornelia Street. Down yeah. the way, down in Saginaw. You know, I grew up in, I grew up, I'm from the D, my baby. I'm from this <laughs> motherfucker right here. You dig what I'm saying? You dig? You know? Yeah, yeah. But but as I was saying, you know, but thank you, sweetheart. But as I was saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to find out what loyalty mean to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty, loyalty is a cold motherfucker. You know what I mean? It, it ain't too many people that's loyal out there. You got something you want to ask the people, Marana? 
Nah, no, I got you. They they on here for you. It's twenty five of them. They watching you. Yeah, I just I just you know like I said, I appreciate y'all coming up here, coming on this shit, man. Like I told y'all, I do this shit right now. We done did a couple of things, you know what I'm saying? That we done posting and shit. You know, I like I told y'all to be real with y'all tonight on this loyalty shit. Like I'm loyal to y'all, so I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no bitch ass nigga. I ain't no whole ass nigga. You know, or none of that whole ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a stand up guy. Any nigga that fuck with me, any bitch that fuck with me, I'm fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't trying to fuck your bitch. I ain't trying to slide down on your girl. You know what I'm saying? We a hundred, we a hundred. You know what I'm saying? We do this music shit. As I said before, Bank Boys, P. Ryder, Stick De Niro, Camar, The Focus, and uh, Bank Boy Bugatti. And you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I come up with this shit, you know what I'm saying, to, to dig into y'all minds. I want to see what y'all think about certain subjects in certain situations, I watch other motherfuckers do posts and shit. Motherfuckers be talking, but some of that shit be bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm with you motherfuckers. Wherever y'all that I'm with you, I'm the same nigga. Like, I'm out the mud. I ain't that nigga. I ain't that nigga that's out the mud. Got big chains and driving cars and forgot that your mama wore wigs and shit. Forgot you slept on the floor, motherfucker. Forgot you was next door at, at Miss, Miss Annie House begging for sugar. See, I'm still that nigga. These other niggas, that fool gazy shit, My nigga Ruben, what up? That, that Fugazi shit y'all be seeing on there, them niggas be putting on that shit talking about they doing this and they doing that. Of course, when you get to a certain level, you know, you're going to leave all the bullshit behind. All that bullshit going to be, when you get to a certain level, you're going to leave all that bullshit behind. You dig what I'm saying? Somebody said loyalty ain't the same definition as it was back then. That's, so my, nigga, like, that's my nigga Ruben. What up, bro? No, nah, hey, Rube, hey, you said it, my baby. It's so lame, bro. Like I told you, Rube, that I'm, I'm glad you tapped in with me, my baby. That motherfucking word, Lord, listen. Them niggas that be out in the street running with the mother niggas and them bitches running with the mother bitches, them motherfuckers get you killed if you don't if you don't make the right moves, rule. You feel me, my baby? That loyalty shit, man, niggas ain't loyal to nothing but a motherfucking dollar, my baby. That's what them niggas loyal to. A nigga sell their soul for a dollar these days, bro. You know what I'm saying? A bitch a seller, a bitch a the integrity, the integrity that she grew up with all her life, that her mother, if she was a good woman, or her grandmother, or her sister taught her if she was a good woman, she'd throw all that shit out the window to be one of these old goofy ass motherfucking niggas that don't give a fuck about the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Leave a baby, leave a baby for days with her mama. How you, how you loyal to your kid? You left your baby with your mom. Well, that's their grandma. Bitch, that's your baby. That's your motherfucking mama's baby. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> well, she can help me with my get get a help, bitch. Not keep, not not raise. Yeah, help. You know, give help. me help and raise. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even loyal to your motherfucking kid. And that ain't, that ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't um. It ain't just for the women. The niggas too. You know what I'm saying? I was a young nigga myself. You know what I'm saying? And I made a lot of mistakes with my kids. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up in a time where. Loyalty, as the, as, as the guy was on that rule, loyalty was loyalty back then. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in one of them times. You know what I'm saying? You know, how many people we got on the payroll? Twelve. Rube, Rube said, I feel you pops all the way. I learned the hard way. My own man was a witness in my case. My own BM took a stand as well. Yeah, I mean, ain't no question, my baby. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no question, bro. So, you know, the, you know to say, you know, to, to sum that up, though, bro, you know what I'm saying? I always tell my guys, my sons, you know what I'm saying? You judge a person, and, I, and I'm going to tell you all this. If we still got 12 people in there, yeah. I'm going to tell you all this. You judge a, peop a person. Don't judge. I'm serious. This is something that's for real with me. That's what I stick by. You know what I'm saying? My son, I said it yesterday. One of my sons told him, motherfucker, say, nigga, you a ham. Nigga told him, nigga, if I was a ham, I would have already been eight, nigga. And, and, you know, and I stand on that. That was something that I had never heard, and it came from a... Uh, you know, uh, my son, and uh, and I'm like, okay, that that that's sweet. But I judge a person by their character, bro. They care. You watch a motherfucker when other motherfuckers come around. So if it's you and your people, you and your bitch, you and your nigga, when another motherfucker come around that may doing that may be doing something bigger than what you doing, if that other individual that you with get excited and go to another mood and. That motherfucker ain't a hundred, man. You know what I'm saying? It's good to be happy to see people, but y'all know what I mean by that excitement. Like, all on the motherfucking dick. Bitch, you just seen cars and jewelry before. Sit <laughs> your motherfucking ass down. What the fuck wrong with you? You just got extra happy and geek. This motherfucking bitch or this nigga done pulled up. 
shoot your motherfucking ass down. Shoot my 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 motherfucking ass Your, 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 your brother perception of a motherfucker ain't your perception of a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying as far as a motherfucker trying to talk bad on the person. Oh, man, don't fuck with them. You, you got you with your man. And why you fucking with, uh, why you fucking with, uh, 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 Jigger Man? And Jigger Man all right. Oh, man, that nigga, he a hoe. Now, he mad because Jigger Man get money. He mad because Jigger Man get money. He told you Jigger Man a hoe. But Jigger Man showing you nothing but love. He a hoe because he ain't fucking with you because you done fucked up Jigger Man bad. You done fucked over Jigga Man before. You ain't tell your man that part. You and Jigga Man used to do whatever y'all was doing or had a friendship and you tried to fuck Jigga Man woman and he caught you and cut your ass. See, you ain't told him none of that. So you got to judge a person for yourself on their character. You know what I'm saying? And and just, just with me, just me personally, y'all, that's how, that's how, um, that's how I, I believe I survived. You know, I judge a person on their character. Like, I ain't gonna fuck with a motherfucker if if I think they got a bad a, a bad character. I ain't I ain't even finna let a motherfucker around me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna I ain't finna too much be fucking with no nigga that's on some bullshit. Oh, silly rabbit ass nigga like the serial tricks. I ain't I ain't finna be fucking with no nigga like that. So you know, that's just that's or or a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, oh no, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hating ass because hoes they hate too. <laughs> you know, them bitches they they hoes they hate you know what I'm saying Man. uh fuck that nigga you know what I mean you, you know what I mean though Ryder hell yeah you know what I'm saying they hate too you know what I'm saying you know I ain't going hard on the women I ain't going hard on the nick you yeah, know you know I make it a fifty you it's know trying to call me on it oh it's the loner yeah so you know you know what I'm saying sorry about that y'all you know we doing this motherfucker from the from the iPhone and uh Ryder had got a call in but um. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's just, um, you know, you judge a motherfucker on character, man. You know, like I said, man, I appreciate y'all. You know, I be talking my shit, man, you know, but I be talking some shit from experience, you know what I'm saying, you know. So we gonna have a lot of topics that we gonna talk about, and I'm gonna try to just, you know, just talk, man. It ain't, it ain't for no cloud or none of that shit. I don't need none of that shit, man, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, you know, we good over here, like, like, like. Like, for real, for real. We living. We good over here. You know what I mean? I just, this is some shit they got going on. And, I, and I've and i never been a type of nigga that's been an internet type of nigga. You know what I mean? I don't know. How many people we got on there? 15. 15. I ain't never been, you know, like like uh, P. Rada and De Niro and Bugatti and KMR. They got me on, on um, social media. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to think. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Me coming from the way for those of y'all that's tuning in we talking about loyalty we, we we're, we're discussing loyalty right now so what i was what i was trying to explain was like i've never been on social media or none of that shit until the middle of 219 you know what i mean because i went i'm from the old school so i believe in that shit like nigga you know what i'm saying whatever my situation was whatever my situation was you know what i'm saying back in the day or whatever i believe in no case no face no case so I never did that goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like all the rappers here in the D, you know what I'm saying? I read their posts and shit. Niggas be talking about, like I come up with it in a time to where, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be on Woodward or be downtown. You know what I'm saying? Or be in uh, Southwest Detroit or something. Motherfuckers didn't even take pictures in my time like that. Like you, you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm OG. Motherfuckers, I, nigga don't take no picture of me for what? You know, that was back in that time. But in y'all time right now, motherfuckers turning up. Motherfuckers telling all their business over the net. So this social media thing, and that's the way of the world right now, which I understand. They got me to understand this because I wouldn't fuck with this shit. Y'all would have never seen me in 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 on none of this shit. I wouldn't have did none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I was, as I say, I was loyal. I was loyal to whatever the fuck that I was in. I was loyal to whatever that I was doing. And and whatever I was in is the past tense. 
my past life and ever whatever I was doing, I was loyal to that. So it wasn't no, I wasn't, my face wasn't on no shit. I wasn't talking no shit like this and, and doing all of that. You know what I mean? So I just stuck to the code of, you know, it, it was what it was. But um, for y'all that came in, give me y'all definition of loyalty. As I said before earlier in the, in the podcast and the post, I was like, I don't believe in the word I'm a real nigga. And if y'all pay attention, listen to me, or what I say about that, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it almost all the way periodically through this session. Everybody definition of a real nigga that I've been heard in my life is a different definition. So my definition ain't your definition. So if you one of these young ladies that's out here right now, your girl, oh, bitch, you know I'm real. Okay, bitch, what is your realness, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask how how you gotta ask that how how what is your real <laughs> bitch? You told me you real bitch. What is your real? I'm talking about the women right now. I'm gonna get to the to the fellas, but you gotta ask your bitch, bitch. What you mean by you real, bitch? How is you real? If you go with bitch, if you go with uh uh Lil J, bitch, if I go out of town, is you gonna fuck Lil J? You know what I'm saying? Lil J ain't got no business coming to pick you up talking about. You need a ride from work, or he seen you walking down the street, and or or this or that, or it's, so you got to ask y'all know what I'm trying to get into. You got a bitch. What is your definition of real? Because I need to know this before we start hanging out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need to know what your definition, because your definition might not be mine, and that's the same way with the niggas. You know, I tell niggas all the time, my sons. You know what I'm saying? I got six boys, three girls. You know what I'm saying? All all minds is big and they grown. So my thing is, I tell them all the time, you know what I'm saying, don't fuck with niggas. You know what I'm saying? I tell my nephews, I tell my son, because when a motherfucker say they real, if they tell any one of these niggas that they real, they don't look at them crazy. Now. Nigga, what you mean you real? What, what, real about what? See, a nigga be offended. Like, damn, dog, I'm, damn, I'm just saying, I, you real how, nigga? What you mean you real? Nah, you offended my son. You didn't offend me. What you mean you real? I, I, you have to make me understand what is your definition of real, nigga? Because your definition might be some fuckboy shit. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't what we bought over here. So I don't I don't understand your definition of real, my nigga. You know? So what is your definition of real? So y'all just know, you know, you judge people by their by their character, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you judge people by character, how they treat you, and that's how you treat them. I don't give a fuck if you the you the biggest hustler in the street, the biggest dope man, the biggest killer, the biggest robber, the biggest rapper. The biggest, whatever the fuck you is, you get what you give out, but you always judge a person by their character and don't let nobody tell you about how another person's character is if you haven't talked to that person one-on-one -on -one and got an interpretation of that individual on your own. Y'all tap in. Tell me what y'all think Man. about this shit. <laughs> Hold up, though, Chris. Alex, he didn't take the hell back off. <laughs> Yeah, I, I took this motherfucker off, man. You know, my motherfucker head and got hot now. Nah, I'm talking shit. He's <laughs> <laughs> talking shit. I took my motherfucking hat back off. Shit. What up, sis? Yeah. What we got on there? Oh, yeah. 11. Okay, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? He's dropping knowledge and jewels on you, nigga. That's it. That's it. Just trying to trying to find out, you know, like, <laughs> motherfuckers ain't talking. Y'all got to tell a motherfucker what y'all think about what's the definition of being loyal. Shit. That, that's what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what's, what's your definition of being loyal. That's all that I'm trying to see. What, what is your definition of being loyal? Chris, what's your, what's your definition of being loyal, bro? You know? <laughs> I'm going to start calling people out. I ain't even going to lie to you. You got to call them out. That's the only way they're going to talk. They scared. You got, you know? And if y'all don't know, I'm not mad at you. I fuck with you. But don't get out there and say you know what it is. And the motherfucker action you right now and you watching the segment. <laughs> Tell the motherfucker this is what it is. You know, we agree to disagree. We disagree to agree. That's what that's what Bank Boy Talk is about. You know what I'm saying? It's dropping knowledge and jewels. Like I said, we gonna have a lot of shit I'm gonna update you people on. Like some real shit, bro. Some real shit. You youngsters out there to get your shit together. Like straight the fuck up. But tonight we're gonna talk about loyalty. Tonight we're gonna talk about loyalty. Being loyal is being true to what your belief is. It don't matter what it is. A man stand by what you think and believe. Chris said that. Yeah, okay, I can go for that, Chris. He said, now say it again. Being, being loyal is being true to what your belief is. It don't matter what it is. A man stand by what you think and believe. Don't matter who it, it don't matter who it piss off or please. And, and, and that's right, Chris. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So 
I respect a motherfucker more loyal if they on some bitch ass shit and they admit they a bitch. <laughs> now you a bitch, nigga. Bitch, you a bitch now. I ain't talking you per se, Chris, but I'm saying, nigga, if you a bitch, you, you nigga, you know you'll be on some bitch shit. All that bitch ass shit, nigga. Nigga, stop acting like you, you nigga. You ain't that, bro. Don't do that. Stop doing that. That's what's wrong with these niggas. I, I'm with you, Chris. You stand on what you believe in. You know, whatever it is. But niggas gotta stand on that they bitches if they bitches. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's just how that shit go. For real though, my baby. But you right. I'm, I'm, I'm totally agreeing with you, bro. You stand on what you believe in. I to I'm totally agreeing with you, shit. Get some of the women. Tell them and tell you something, Marauder. Cheyenne, what up? Cheyenne, man. Hold on. Respect a snake who who admit he a snake, then a snake who say he a sheep. He like an older version of Sada. Yeah, man. that's true, too. Sada, my man. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 that's true, too. Yeah, I respect you more. You tell me you a snake, nigga. Man, but what's see, your definition of loyalty? What up, sis? Hey, brother. Lamaris, hey brother, mine is when I don't fuck with somebody and you my friend, you don't fuck with them either. Shit, I got a long list. You got a long list, huh? Yeah. That's true. I can go for it. I can go for what it. What up, sis? I can go for that. I can go for it. Uh, Lex, man, what's your definition, man? Chanel, you in here, what's yours? <laughs> Just, I don't know, say your name, what's yours, though? Just Sue. Mm -hmm. Now I'm talking to them. Right. Right, right. Yeah, so you know Cold what I'm saying? Cold-hearted Monet. Man, what's your definition of loyalty? I'm talking about he like old version of Sada. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you know, you just, you know, I, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to give y'all some game. You know, you got to watch a motherfucker because a motherfucker, you know, like I said, that loyalty is something deep. A motherfucker twist your words around. A motherfucker, uh, um, a motherfucker twist your words around. A motherfucker, um, lie on you. And a person to judge you by what another person, what another person said about you without even getting to know you. So like I said, you got to judge a person on care. Them people that y'all fucking with out there, man, I don't give a fuck who they is. You understand me? I don't, it can be your, your mama, your mammy. Your daddy, I don't give a fuck who it is. If you want to survive in this motherfucking world today, man, you got to get them bad it, them bad negative vibes and energy from around you. Keep that shit from around you. You know what I'm saying? You give so many people so many try. Oh, sus, my bad. Oh, bro, my bad. How many times a motherfucker going to tell you that they loyal, you think they loyal, you going to keep letting these motherfuckers come back to you talking about my bad. Oh, my bad, bro. How many times in 219... To all you women out there and all you niggas out there, your homegirl, your homeboy, oh, my bad, bro. My bad, bro. Nigga, we grown now. All that my bad shit, nigga, we, 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 we adults now. We young adults, man. Go on with that bullshit. We not kids no more, nigga. Some of y'all women out there about got babies. Some of y'all niggas got babies. You steady letting the nigga tell you his bad. Yo, bad, nigga. We ain't in grade school no more, nigga. You know you fucking up when you fucked up, nigga. What the fuck you mean? This your 11th time talking about your bad. <laughs> and I still supposed to be your man. The next one ain't gonna be your bad, nigga. You gonna, you gonna be laying in the alley some motherfucking well. Well, how many we got on there, bro? Ten. Yeah, y'all. We got about fifteen more minutes. I'm gonna end this segment about twelve thirty. We'll probably be back on. We'll be back on tomorrow night at uh from about eleven. We're gonna start eleven or eleven thirty. You know, y'all have tuned in to Bank Boy Talk. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we're gonna end the night at. 12 30, you know what I'm saying? And uh like I said, I just come up with these subjects, you know. I'm gonna have something else to talk about tomorrow. But tonight was just loyalty. You know, I hope I appreciate y'all coming in. You know what I'm saying? Look at that B O A B. Look at them bank boys. Go on Instagram, B O A B. You'll see the bank boys shit up there. Uh we shooting a video for uh Bank of America Boys, B O A B. Uh next month, P Rider, Sticks the Narrow. Cam Arter Focus, Wugatti. And um, you know what I'm saying? We don't know which song we gon' we gonna pick yet, but we gonna pick a song. We gon' we gonna try. I'm trying to get at my man, uh, what's that nigga name? My man, uh I'm trying to get at Jerry. Jerry to fuck with this video, man. Had Jerry shoot this motherfucker, man. We gonna shoot it next month. 
And um, so y'all stay tuned though. But you know, tonight y'all we talking about loyalty. You know, you know what is it? What is it? You know John what is Wall, it? What's your loyalty? I mean, what's your um definition? Definition of loyalty, Tavy. Tavy on there. Yeah. Nephew, what to do? What's <laughs> up, my baby? Yeah. Nah, not bad ass. What up? Destiny Danae, Tangi Pryor, what's the deal? Yeah, we only just talking about loyalty. Like I told y'all, y'all gotta, y'all, you know, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta watch motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty a bad motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? That that that's that's the topic tonight, y'all. Me and P. Ride on here talking about loyalty. What is loyalty? You know, I'ma say again. So many motherfuckers dicks up for loyalty. A motherfucker can be, how many people we got on there? Six now. We got six. A motherfucker can be your best friend. Your best friend in the world. You gonna leave that motherfucker alone because he ain't got a bag or he ain't doing this or he ain't doing that. Man, that's not no little motherfucker, my baby. That's a whole ass nigga. That nigga, that nigga that's a regular nigga, that's one of the best friends you gonna have in this world. Cause most of all these motherfuckers that's caught up and to shit that's going on in the street or materialistic or these niggas or these bitches caught up with these these niggas caught up with these bitches or these bitches caught up with these niggas they ain't shit no motherfucking way they ain't shit no way you know they say experience is the best teacher and I'm quite sure a lot of y'all gonna go through that a lot of y'all gonna have to go through that cause y'all ain't gonna listen to me y'all gonna that old motherfucker with that old ass beard up there <laughs> all that shit on his face but you know remember what you just said that old motherfucker <laughs> that old motherfucker not that young dumb motherfucker that old motherfucker that's been here a minute you know what I'm saying so you know what I'm saying I do this shit for y'all man you know what I'm saying I just try to kick knowledge you know what I'm saying you know, just like y'all, you know, this bank boy talk, you know, I always remember, you know what I'm saying? You stay on that paper and, you know, just, just, I'm just trying to hear y'all definition of loyalty because I ain't a real nigga. You ain't going to never hear me say that. To the day I die, I'd never be a real nigga. I don't understand what a real nigga is. I don't know. That ain't I nobody who told me what the definition of a real nigga is yet. I, I don't know. I don't know what a real nigga <laughs> is. I, I don't know. What that, Marada? No, I just reading something. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So, you know, y'all tell me. Well, how many we got in about six, five? Ten. Ten, yeah. Y'all just tuned in. We on Bank Boy Talk, y'all. We gonna start doing these segments every night. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get it set up. Where's well, for real? I'm just doing some shit, you know what I'm saying? From the love. This from the love. You know what I'm saying? This straight from the love. This ain't no bitch ass Free nigga knowledge. shit. You say what, Marada? No, it's somebody, that's, it's somebody that's gonna beat her, whether you right or wrong. Somebody gonna beat her no matter what. I agree with that, but somebody that's going to tell you the truth. That's right. That's right. I can go for it. Like I told y'all, fucking with Bank Boy, with me, Mr. Drysdale, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? We're going to agree to disagree because a lot of y'all may come on tomorrow. And I might say, no, nah, no. Nah. It don't mean that we trying to fall out. I'm trying to kill you, goddamn. My thing is that we're going to agree to disagree, but that's, 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 a, that's a correct answer. I can go for that. You know what I'm saying? But like I explained to y'all, the Lord, you remember this. As long as you remember this, most of y'all out there is the young generation. And, and, and as my man said, I took my hat off again. I take my hat off to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all was making this shit pop around here. But the thing that y'all got to understand is this here. Remember what I'm trying to tell you is that don't get caught up in the hype with these dumb motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because you got some motherfuckers that's really authentic with you that you will let go and fuck up your relationship with them. And you done fucked up your relationship with them because another dumb motherfucker that you thought was a hundred with you, or as you say, quote unquote, or most people say a real nigga with you, then put a wedge between you and your people. Some motherfuckers be having problems and be all fucked up and try to bring that shit to you. Get that negative energy from around you, man. I'm serious, man. Man, man, look here. I'm serious. I'm serious in the motherfucker. Man, get all that negative energy from around you. I ain't finna have no negative, negative niggas around me telling me what I can't do, what I ain't gonna do. And they dick hopping one month, they with me the next month. They with such and such and blah, you spleen. They with money bag, yo. Now they over there with uh, Young Dolph. And I ain't got time for none of that shit, man. So you keep your, your real nigga ass over there where you at. You keep your real nigga ass over there. I'm gonna fuck with some authentic niggas that know how to conduct themselves know how to carry themselves, know how to make certain moves, know how to um 
how to how to how to treat people with respect. You know, don't get it fucked up. Nah, we, we ain't running from no smoke. But that's not the topic tonight. We ain't not none. Not not ask about me. Go ask about none of that. Not even being arrogant, y'all. Not even I, I, we ain't run from none of that shit. But what I'm trying to say is this here. Remember when you say the word loyal. Make sure you understand a person's character when you call that person your friend. Everybody ain't your friend. I had a situation, true story. How many people we got on that, bro? Seven. I true story. No shit, y'all. No shit. I had a motherfucker I ran with for real. And I would always, I would always, a motherfucker judge his character and I would always say, man, that's my man. That's my man. We talking about 20 plus years, real shit. And, um, you know, I had a hard time one time. And this same motherfucker, you know, I'm going to get into this story. I'm going to bring this story up again so y'all remember. This same motherfucker, you know, I was fucking with this most of my man, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about 20 years from the elementary till, you know what I'm saying? We grown. We 25, 26, 27. Same motherfucker, man, was talking about me behind my back, man. All this time, I couldn't see that, that this, this individual was actually jealous of me, you know, because I always been a fly nigga, you know what I'm talking about, I always been fly, you know, like, like, we had a conversation today, me and my son, like, you know, jewelry and clothes don't make a nigga fly, you know what I'm saying, it ain't, you know what I'm saying, it ain't on me, you know what I'm saying, it's enemy, you know what I'm talking about, so I always been a fly nigga, you know what I'm saying, I always kept myself together, you know what I'm saying, you know, up to power for the hoes and all this, not always, bro, that's, that's just always been me, <laughs> and, um, you know, and me and my guys, the niggas that I fuck with, they also been that way. But it was just particular people can be around you and you can be around them and they don't even like you, bro. It's not that they're going to kill you with a gun or stab you with a knife, but they do it psychologically behind your back. You understand what I'm saying? A motherfucker want to be around you because of you are who you are. They really admire your swag. They, they admire how you move. They admire how you talk. They admire how you put things together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Somebody says this side of baby grandpa. Man, y'all gotta understand. <laughs> it's just, man. He just been with here before side of man. All man, this before. Man, it's all y'all... good, Marada. You know what I'm saying? That that's the type of motherfucker <laughs> that ain't listening to the comment, bro. Now nah, she just came in here though. Oh, 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 oh. oh what up, artist? Yeah, it's a girl. Artist. Okay, what's up, my baby? Nah, nah, baby. I ain't side. You know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. Nah, hell nah. But like, how many people we got on that? <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, they back on it. So like I was saying, I'm quite sure, y'all. Let me get back to the story. You know, before she came on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you know, it be people. You know, and I'm used to that. A motherfucker gonna say this and say that, and not not you, my baby. I understand that. I get it all the time. But you know, shout out our guy. We fuck with. We fuck, we fuck with the big woo. So my thing is this here. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have people that surround you. Because like I said, we cutting this segment at 1230. We'll be back on tomorrow at 11, 1130. But what I'm saying is, you're going to have people around you. And I hope all y'all stay on there, on there right now to hear this. I don't give a fuck. I'm talking about, it's a motherfucker. And I'm quite sure. How many we got on there? 15. I'm quite sure. Y'all can say what you want to. You know I ain't on no bullshit. If I'm on some bullshit, y'all put I'm on some bullshit on there right now. This is what I'm about to say. <laughs> It's a motherfucker with you right now or be around you every motherfucking day. You know that motherfucker envy you. But you know what? Because your heart, you got a good heart. You want them to be a hundred with you. You want to be a hundred with them. But you know you ought to cut that motherfucker. You should have cut that motherfucker off January 31st, 1999. I mean, January 31st, <laughs> 2019. You should have cut that motherfucker off. But because you love old girl... I'm talking to the bitches now, because you love old girl. That's your bitch. You love, bitch, you know that bitch ain't no good. You know that hoe ain't no good. That bitch ain't no good. Bitch done fucked your baby daddy. She didn't went and slept with your uncle. Might even try to fuck your auntie. And to, and to, and, and to, and to the niggas, and to the niggas, same way with you, my nigga. It's, it's a hundred this way, my baby. You know, from east, west, north to south. It's a hundred this way, my baby. For the you niggas, you know that nigga, that's your man. You, that's your man, and it hurts you. You been running with this nigga. Y'all did a lot. But that nigga, that nigga a snake, dog. Man. That nigga a snake, dog. So I said, talk your shit. Yeah, bitch. that nigga a if I'm, I told y'all if I'm wrong, we going to agree to disagree. We going to disagree to agree. I told y'all if I'm wrong, put it up there. Like I said, I've been through it. I told I fuck with a nigga 20 years. 20-some motherfucking years. And I fuck with the nigga 20 years, and... 
when I was hurting y'all real talk, I'm going to invite some people that y'all might be familiar with their faces around the city. And these my men. These are who we come up with. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to be familiar. And they going to tell you. I'm like, yeah, dog, telling the truth. Fuck with him 20 years. But the nigga didn't have the swag that me and the other fellas had. But it wasn't no thing, though, because this is how I move. You know what I'm saying? I move like this. You know what I'm saying? I move like this. Fly nigga. But. We hung around the nigga, and the nigga love. We love the nigga because you know the nigga mamas, grandmamas, daddies, uncles, brothers, sisters. But it was always envy, and it's a lot of y'all got that going on. So y'all got to get that out y'all way. Well, I'm telling y'all, don't talk about no 2021, all that bullshit. It's gonna be too late getting it. The, the, the bitch gonna fuck your baby daddy again, your new one. <laughs> the nigga gonna be the fuck your baby mama again, or your or your sister or something. Yeah, it's 26, y'all. Dre shit. I was told this was Sada Baby Daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's all that's what I'm trying to that's all I'm trying to explain to y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all got to know a motherfucker's character. Y'all got to know a motherfucker's character. Judge a person by their character. Don't let no motherfucker tell you nothing about no motherfucker. And no motherfuckers that you think, your first mind, that you think that you should have cut off. Been cut off years ago or months ago. Yeah, bitch, you should have been cut too, mom. Because I've been cut a motherfucker off. I've been, I've been cut a motherfucker off. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about none of them. Not, none of them motherfuckers. You understand me? Nigga, keep it moving. We ain't just fell out, nigga. I just can't fuck with you. We ain't fell, I ain't got no... Now, you got something against me? Let me know. But other than that, I ain't fell out with you, my guy. I just can't fuck with you, my baby. My baby, I can't fuck with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this motherfucking money. One. Thirty-one. Yeah, and thirty-one. Y'all, yeah. y'all, the Mister Segment. We gonna go off in about five minutes. <laughs> we gonna get up off this. Minute. But tomorrow we be back on this motherfucker at eleven o'clock. We eleven thirty, and we gonna run with another topic. The topic tonight, y'all, was loyalty. All y'all looking at this right now. And y'all saying, who is this nigga over here? Here's jokes and laugh, but you motherfuckers better listen to what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you better listen to what I'm trying to tell you now. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my man, DJ Slick B. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, my baby. You know what I'm saying? But that loyalty shit, for real, bro. Y'all better, you bitches and you niggas. That bitch that, I keep, I'm going to say it again. That bitch, the, 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 the women that's on there. That bitch that you say you think she's a snake, the bitch is a snake. I'm telling you now. If a lot you feel she's a snake, snakes, man. Huh? A lot of these bitches be snakes. Yeah, but these niggas are snakes too. Yeah, I already know. These niggas are snakes too. See, I, I, I ain't biased. I don't pick one side. We going, man, these niggas hoes, these bitches hoes. So be careful how you make your moves. Calculate you. Like they say, everybody always here. This chest, not checkers. Calculate your move. Calculate how you move. Calculate how you walk. But that loyalty for real. Because the motherfucker dig up for this shit. They dig up for this shit. All oh, this shit. They, they dig sucks for, for shit like this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? With none of this shit. Me and the niggas I fuck with, we still a hundred, my baby. With none of the houses, none of the cars, none of the jewelry, we still gonna be a hundred. My my ace boom coon can go broke tomorrow, and that's gonna be my nigga. And I'm and I and I and I take these motherfuckers off, and I stand on it. I stand on it. I stand on it. What you want? I stand on it. I ain't gonna be giving him no long speech. I'm gonna find out what happened. I'm gonna say that's fucked up, nigga. You know better. Woo woo woo. But here you go, my baby. Let's get it together. We gonna get it back. Come on. And I ain't gonna look at him no different, cause the same nigga that had to be for long as the nigga ain't on no drugs, no. No, got no no medical problem. He can get it again. So when you see a motherfucking you on a dick or you, that's your people when they up and they fall out, don't be trying to don't be trying to run off then. Cause if you a bitch ass motherfucker, you gonna run back anyway. You gonna run back anyway when the nigga get back home. And then you gonna act you gonna think he he done turned his back on you or you acting funny when he say he ain't fuck. You know why the nigga ain't fucking with you. Stop playing. You know why the nigga ain't or the bitch ain't fucking with you. When the bitch lost her motherfucking section eight. The, the, the people came and took her kids. You ain't even help your girl. You you turned your back on the bitch. Oh, yeah, they even took her kids and this and that. Well, I can't go help her because I only got one car and I can't go get the kids. That's your bitch, though. That's your bitch, though. That's your bitch. 
When a nigga go something through something with his woman and he done got tender and, <laughs> and, and the bitch done spent all his motherfucking money, he had 30, 40 bands. Now the nigga ain't got nothing but 30, 40 dollars. He can't go to the mall with you no more. He can't he can't go to the concerts or hang out at the clubs no more. Now you want, man, that nigga, that nigga ain't got no money, man. Man, that nigga have more money than you, nigga. But that's your man, though, dog. You go uplift the nigga. That's loyalty. So, like I said, y'all, man, you know, we got two more minutes to this thing because I'm going to try to keep this. Man, I really appreciate y'all, man. I thank y'all, man. Huh? It's 30 of them in here. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate y'all. Like I said, tomorrow, y'all, I'm going to be back on this motherfucker at, uh, I'm going to be back on this motherfucker. I'm going to have another topic tomorrow. We're going to talk shit. You know what I'm saying? We I call this shit bank boy talk. I'm going to get it set up. It depends on how y'all come in this motherfucker. If y'all watch, y'all want to hear OG talk shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm Mac the Jacker. Mac the Jacker, a.k.a. Mr. Drysdale. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Drysdale. You know what I'm saying? That's bank boy talk. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know who Mr. Drysdale is... You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all real talk. I ain't even trying to be funny right now. You know what I'm saying? I usually have on my jury, my name, place, say Mr. Drysdale on it. You know what I mean? It's, it's at the jury store getting redid and all that right now. But go ask your mama and your daddy. You say, mama, who is Mr. Drysdale? Go ask your daddy. Say, daddy, you, you, you know somebody named Mr. You, you know, you, you ever see someone on TV with, with a Mr. Drysdale? They're going to explain to you. And you know, that's this bank boy talk. Man, I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for coming in. Man, I hope to see my niggas, y'all, my niggas on there. Tomorrow, when I come up with a, this topic that I'm going to come up with tomorrow, y'all, y'all, please come here. Like I said, 11 o'clock, 11 to 30. We ain't going to be on here no later than 11 30. No later than 11 30. Monday, Monday through Friday. No later than 11 30. Man, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed, man. And uh, I thank y'all for turning in the bank boy talk. Mr. Drysdale, I'm out. All right, man. See? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you all see? Watch out long though. That's what it is, my baby. Hey, it is. I'm about to get off though.